Hey guys, it's Nina, and today I'm coming to you from a new place, because I'm at college. What up? This is my dorm room. I'll show you around some other time, but we got stuff to talk about now, because, oh my god, so much Shadowhunter stuff came out over the, like, the past few days, and I'm freaking out, and I need, to, I need to rant, because, oh my god. So basically, over the weekend was Comic-Con, and at Comic-Con, Shadowhunters was there, and they released so much stuff. Like, they released a teaser trailer, and I saw it, and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. And then the next day, they released a full trailer, and I was like, oh my god, I'm dying. And then the day after that, they released 10 minutes from the show, from like the first episode, and it was also good, and I, I need to discuss it with you. So I'm going to do that. Obviously, I'm going to be treading on some spoilery territory, probably only for the first book, but I, d I don't know what I'm gonna say. And also, I'm going to assume that you have seen all three of these, like, clips or videos or whatever. I will link them all down below so you can make sure that you've watched them. Because if you haven't watched them, you should watch them because they're all amazing. Spoiler alert. <laughs> so first, let's talk about that teaser trailer. Because it was amazing. I just loved that teaser all around. Like, I've been trying to avoid shadowhunter -y things. Like, they've had so many, like cast pictures and set photos on every social media and, and I've been trying so hard to avoid them because I didn't want to get spoiled because I wanted to have that power of seeing that first trailer and I'm so glad that I did because that first trailer was amazing. I loved it. It was just so creative the way they did it with like the special effects with the runes coming in the background like I just love that and visually it was just perfect like everyone looks their part like Clary looks like Clary, Jace looks like Jace Alec had a lot of screen time in that trailer and he looked amazing, which I am very happy because I love Alec. I also really liked how Magnus looked. Like, I was kind of skeptical of Magnus when I saw set photos, but I think seeing him in his element with like the whole cinematography, it works a lot better. And I do like how Magnus looks. So those are my basic thoughts for the first trailer. So let's just jump to the next two. I'm just gonna combine them because there's so much overlap. So let's talk about characters first. So I think Casting did an amazing job. Like, can can we just appreciate this cast? Like, I know I kind of fangirled a lot about them when they were first cast and like just looking at their pictures, but I didn't really know how they would act or what their like presence would be on screen. But oh my god, they're all perfect. Like Jace is Jace. Dominic Sherwood's delivery of that line, like what, no thank you for saving your life, like I just had to like stop for a moment because it was so Jace, like the delivery was perfect and he just has that persona of what I wanted in Jace and like you can't really tell that when you're just looking at stills of him or pictures but when you get those lines and the delivery like it was just amazing. And the same goes for Simon, like his lines at Pandemonium I was like you, you are Simon. There's no disputing that, like what's his name, Alberto Rosend, like he is perfect. I want to call him Robert Sheehan, but that's not his name. But literally, we never thought we'd get a better Simon than Robert Sheehan, but we have. I don't want to say if he's better or worse, but he's amazing. He's pretty much perfect. So. And then we've got Clary, of course. I love Clary. I would say in the second trailer, her voice was kind of grating on me a little because it's just so high-pitched and a lot of her lines in that were like screaming or like, what's going on? And it just seemed really high-pitched and like, scared girly like I just really didn't like it but then hearing her voice within the context of the show and like within that 10 minute segment I it was a lot better I think it was just that the clips didn't reflect her voice very well who else Izzy looks amazing obviously she's like she she's kicking ass like I don't know why she was wearing a white wig in that 10 minute section but I mean she was and it was kind of cool I don't know like the I'm not big I'm not a big fan of the wig, but it's not like it's gonna stay there. It's just it was there. Alec, as I said, looks amazing. I mean he didn't have many lines, so I couldn't really get a feel for him, but visually he looks amazing. So I'm that's halfway there. And then in that ten minute segment we had that awesome fight scene at Pandemonium and oh my god, it was so great. <laughs> I sound like such a fangirl. I loved how that fight scene played out. Like, the way that especially Jace and Alec, like, interacted with each other and, like, they were on point. Like, they knew where the other person was gonna be, like, throwing serif blades all over the place. Like, you can tell that they're pair body and that they 
fight together all the time and even Izzy was like kicking ass too like it was just amazing. One change that they kind of made that I really like is that the serif blades like slide out when you hold them and it only does that when a shadow hunter holds them and I think in the books they just glow and you have to like whisper the angel name and everything but I kind of like this new like sliding out serif blade like it's really cool and kind of like modern it's a different twist on it but it's not like overtly different like it's a good difference and I'd say overall there were a lot of differences but they were all like really small things that I'm fine with and they all like enhance the show. I mean one thing that I'm not sure if I like or not is that the serif blades instead of drawing on the runes they just kind of pass over them and then they appear which I don't know how I feel about yet. I mean it is more convenient. It, it doesn't force you to spend as much time on drawing runes which is great but I don't know because I didn't really like how they did it in the movie either so it's kind of hard to decide which one I like. And then one of the other big changes that they made that was kind of confirmed in this trailer, in the first trailer, is that Luke is going to be a cop and not a bookseller, which I know some people are upset over, but honestly, I don't care. Like, it seems like a cool job and it adds a different, like, element to it. Like, they've got to break away from the movie and from the book in some aspects, and I think they seem to be doing so well with everything else that I really don't mind if Luke is a cop. So let's talk a little bit about special effects, shall we? Because in the second trailer, I believe, there's a shot of Luke, like, waking up and his eyes glow, like, green. And it's this, like, gross, like, it's such, like, a typical ghosty green. Like, it reminds me of, like, Ghostbusters or something. Like, it's so cheesy and I hate it. And I just, I, why green? Like, his eyes don't, it could be any other color except that shade of green and I'd be fine with it but it's just so, it's so tacky. Just the special effects in general aren't that great. I mean, I liked in the first trailer when they had like all the runes in the background, but that's not really special effects because that's not gonna be there in the show. I'm talking mainly about in the second trailer, they show us a demon for the first time when like Clary's getting attacked and I, I really don't like how that demon looks. I just, it, it looks so weird. I don't know if I'm just like used to the movie demons, so that's how I expect them to look. And I know they're breaking away from the movie and they have to make it different, but I really just did not like that demon. It's too humanoid for me. Like it just looks like something from Lord of the Rings and it just looks out of place. I don't like it at all. I know TV show, less of a budget. Like I'm gonna have to get over it, but I was, mm. And overall, I would say that this looks like a TV show. Like, the way that it pans out, like, especially those first two trailers, like, I don't think I would have liked them as trailers if they were for a movie. But since they're for a TV show, they have that, like, TV show vibe to them, I guess. I don't really know how to explain it. But just, like, the music choices and the way everything flows, it's like a dramatic teenage angst of a trailer. And even the clip that we got is kind of dramatic. And I don't think I would like it as a movie, but as a TV show, I'm fine with it. It's got that weird vibe, but I kind of like that weird vibe, so it's fine. So those are my general thoughts on the two trailers and the clips. So let me know down below if you enjoyed them as much as I did. Let me know your likes and gripes and what your thoughts were, because I want to hear more people's opinions on this. And that's it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe, and I will see you guys eventually with another video. Bye!